part two because, well, I got a phone call and it killed off my whole camera because I'm using my phone like a loser. All right. So we're going to clean the contacts now. So basically back to this really quick. Clean everything. Get the bends right. Do it ever so gently. Just bend your, your contacts very lightly. Only if needed. If not, leave them the hell alone. Uh, stretching that spring out like we did on the box. That that helps extensive, extensively. And uh, yeah. So get it just right. That way everything's good. Now we're going to clean this plate really quick. So basically... Again, put pedal on my Dremel. Makes things so much easier. I'm not having to let go of anything. There and there. There and there. And there. And there and there. I'm going to do a little bit over in the little slide balls here. I'm going to get in here, right in between the contacts. And the same thing over here. Now, brake lights. These are your brake lights. So they're contact connected together. Green with a yellow stripe is your brake light. And... Yeah, green with a yellow... That's your brake light. So... It connects to these two, which is your brakes. So when you make a right-hand turn, it pushes this away, breaks contact with the brakes, and redirects your rear brake light into a turn signal, which is right here. Brake light, turn signal, uh, let's see, uh, right side, left side. So basically run the wire wheel over these, just make sure they're nice and pretty and clean. Easy peasy mac and cheesy. Okay, now we want to make sure that these still have good tension. Just give them a little bit of a push here. Just basically a little push, make sure they're staying, staying contacted, you know, good and tight. Same thing over here. Just good and tight. Good. We've got good brakes. All right. Putting this back together. Slip it in there. I'm going to put a little dab of dielectric grease. And I mean a little dab. It's just going to help that ball bearing slide. Put a little bit right there. All right. I'm going to take this. And because the grease is holding the ball bearing in place, we can easily keep this upright without this falling out. Flip it upside down, center it, as you can see, center it, just like that, put it upside down, push it into place, snap it in place. Take a pair of uh, duckbill pliers, or just flat, kind of needle nose looking pliers. Put it up on top here, touch it to that little arm, well you can see that. Just as you're squeezing, push inwards like that. Just like that. Same thing all the way around, all three. Okay, we're done. Simple. You can hear it. It's nice and clean. It's very smooth. Put a little bit of grease up here just for the hell of it. Flip it there. Push down, smear the grease around. It's good to go. Reassemble, put it in the middle, put it back on there, align it, put your screws in, call it a day. Uh, since you got the switch out, anyways, clean your horn contact. It's a little copper right there. Clean your horn contact, clean your ground. This is your headlights ground. So make sure that's really clean. Same thing on your headlight switch, the bullet that that plugs into. Make sure everything's flexible, clean, not melted. Just do a general inspection. And uh, make sure everything's moody, nice and easy. And uh, yeah, if you ever send a switch to a customer or send a switch to somebody to have them do it, unscrew this little plastic horn tab right here. In shipping, these like to break a lot. I have got a pile of these things that are broken because people leave them on, they slip around in the box, they snap off, and it's just brittle plastic. So, that's it. That's all. Signing off. Um, leave any questions in the uh, 
to the box down below and I'll see if I can answer them. I'm moving. I won't be anywhere near a computer for a little while, but I'll get back to you when I can, when I'm not working like a dog doing something else other than switches. So, good luck. Have fun.